Okay, uh, this is a pretty interesting looking engine. What, what in the world do you have here? Well, this is a Pontiac, a 64 Tempest. That was a little compact car. Yeah. And it was really a strange motor. I don't know whose idea it was, but this is a half a Pontiac V8. Now, we had a feed shop here in town many years ago that did take a Pontiac and cut it in half. Okay. They did, took a Pontiac V8, and they had it in a dragster way back a long time ago. Then, I don't know who got the idea, but Pontiac come out and made this for Tempest. It's really about the strangest motor you've ever seen okay. because it's a half of a V8. I think it's a... 196 cubic inches. Yeah. Is that what you said? 194. 194. It's got a single barrel carburetor on it. It has this intake gasket would be the same as a V8. It has this messed up intake with a little heat riser here. Uh -huh. It comes around this pipe, goes around the other side to heat the carburetor. And here's the gas, the gas linkage a little bit, which is kind of okay. Kind of things. It has power steering on it. And the water pump looks, and the front cover looks exactly like a V8. No kidding. They have a little block thing in here, cast it off. It keeps this so this V8 water pump will go in here and it'll block the water pump off for the V8. Isn't that wild? Yeah. The starter is kind of complicated. The motor mounts here, we look at these a little bit. That thing don't need to be in there. But anyways, the motor mounts, and then the starter is a weird starter bolted up here close to the flywheel. Distributor huh. in the back, like a, like a V8 would be. Of course, it's only a four-cylinder distributor. Right. And they had this weird-looking bell housing. Even this is part of the block. This is part of the, the casting. V8 block, yeah. It looks like somewhat of part of the V8, but it's not. It's totally different. Really? Okay. Yeah, the V8 didn't have anything like this on it before. 